Hello, my beautiful, darling Cancer babies. I hope everybody is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Gina. This is a Cancerian-only channel. Cross-watchers are welcome. If you would like to view other sign placements, you could visit my main channel, Tarot of Light. I do have a Leo and Virgo-only channel. Um, readings can be vice versa, my love. So flip it, twist it, reverse it to whatever way fits you and your situation. Please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Click that notification bell so you know when my readings post and when the winners are announced. Um, I do a monthly giveaway. I give away tarot cards, oracle cards, and crystals. Hashtag what you would like to win in the comment section below. If you don't mind winning any one of those things, you can hashtag the word all, okay? Um, if you would like to learn how to read tarot or start your own YouTube channel, you could check out my tarot tutorial. The link is below. Um, if you'd like to book a reading with me, the link is below. If you would like to check out my new tarot and oracle decks, you could check them out on my website. The link is below. And I'm also doing tarot mystery bags, oracle mystery bags, and crystal uh, mystery boxes, okay? All that info is below. So my loves, what are we grateful for today? I'm grateful for my cancer babies, my YouTube family. I'm grateful that my puppies are safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. Um, I'm grateful for my health, wealth, peace, prosperity, and abundance. And I am just so grateful to be here with you guys today. Okay, my darlings, so let's get popping. Let's see what we have here for my beautiful cancer babies in love today, please, spirit. What messages do we have for my cancer babies in love, please? Messages for my cancer babies. Okay. All right. So we've got reckless. We've got observant. And we have secret love. Okay. So cancer, what we're dealing with here. I feel like somebody is realizing that they move too quickly, okay? I feel like your person made a very rash, careless, hasty decision. They made a decision on a whim and they didn't care about the consequences of their actions. But what's happening is now that the dust has settled cancer, they're becoming more alert and more observant about something. Okay, nothing is getting past this person. We've got secret love here and mystery. So I feel that Cancer, your person may have chosen someone else over you and they're starting to realize that this person that they're into is keeping them a secret. Okay, it could have been this third party's mysterious behavior. It could have been that this third party was challenging. You know, I feel like there's so much you don't tell me. It excites me and scares me at the same time. So I feel like there's a third party here that had this air of mystery about them. Okay, and let me tell you, let me solve this mystery for your person. I believe that the person that they're interested in is in a relationship elsewhere because we've got secret love here third party forbidden i'm crazy about you but i can't tell people about us and i want to tell you why so this third party is into your person it's not like they're not into your person but it's a third party situation they're keeping your person on the dl do you understand so let me go ahead and solve this mystery for your person okay um you know and i feel like your person just made a very reckless decision and could have potentially chosen someone over you and this person they're starting to see it. They're becoming more attentive now that this isn't an alluring, mysterious, mysterious person. This person's, you know what I'm saying, uh, playing games. That's what this person's doing, okay? So we're going to go ahead and use um, Spirit Shield Tarot to see what's going on here. Spirit, tell me about Cancer. And by the way, guys, this Oracle deck is my deck. You could find it on my website. All right, so we've got the Nine of Pentacles here. And the Two of Cups. Tell me about Cancer, please. Three of Pentacles and the Six of Swords. Hmm. 
the Ten of Swords, and the Ace of Pentacles. Cancer, this person, I feel like the Nine of Pentacles and the Two of Cups is you. They had a pre-empress energy that was head over heels in love with them. They had a beautiful soul tie connection. And this is somebody that thought that with the Six of Swords, they were moving towards somebody better. With that Three of Pentacles energy, this could be someone that your person claimed to you was just a friend, but they were not just a friend, okay? So I feel like your person had something amazing and they chose something that was more mysterious. But with the Ten of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles, this is somebody that betrayed you to go towards somebody new that is unavailable. Okay, with the High Priestess and the Justice card and the Fool card, what your person doesn't see coming here is that they made this hasty decision and they're going to pay their karma for it. And intuitively, when all of this goes down, your person's going to know that this is karma because they gambled a pre-empress energy. Queen of Swords and the Ace of Wands. This third party is sitting in an energy where sex is okay, passion is okay, communication is okay, but stop asking me questions with the Queen of Swords energy. The, this is somebody that has boundaries. You know, listen, don't ask me where I am. Don't ask me what I'm doing. You know, I'm not here to be emotionally available to you. I'm not, you don't own me. You don't own me. You know what I'm saying? This is someone that's just looking for a good time. Um, this third party, with the Ten of Pentacles and the Four of Swords, I feel like we could be dealing with a third party energy here that could be married or could be in a relationship with a partner that makes a lot of money. They work a lot. And with the Four of Swords energy, this third party is just bored. So they entertain themselves with third party energies and your person got themselves caught up with this. This third party has a Ten of Pentacles energy in their life, which means that they're either married or in a very serious commitment, and they're very well off financially with the person that they're with. And your person got themselves caught up with someone that is unavailable, okay? We're going to go ahead and use Royal Rose Tarot to clarify. Tell me about this Nine of Pentacles here and the Lovers. Adam, Eve, and the snake. You see what I'm saying, Cancer? This person had that. You got two soul tie cards here. They had a beautiful soul tie with you, a beautiful love relationship. And this is somebody that chose the, that, that devil energy. They chose the snake, okay? They gave into temptation, and they're going to pay the consequence for it. Tell me about this two of cups and the queen of swords and the ten of swords. Cancer, there there may have been a friend energy in the picture here that you were very weary of. And I feel like, you know, you kept asking questions, you didn't like this person, and it ultimately led to an ending. You and your person may have gotten into a fight, and this person made the reckless decision of telling you to go screw yourself and defended this third party friend. Okay, with the world card and the seven of swords, this is how it ended, where this person walked out on you because ultimately they were cheating, lying. Okay, they were cheating and lying. Um, Ace of wands and the three of pentacles, your person was confusing lust for somebody that they can build a solid foundation with. That is where your person, well, where they went wrong is cheating on you in the first place. But this is someone that, you know, they chose lust over love, plain and simple. Tell me about this three of pentacles and the five of pentacles. They ghosted you, walked away from you to go work on something with they claimed the, that they claimed was just a friend. Okay. And Cancer, you're too intuitive. You are way too intuitive, and I feel like you were sitting in Queen of Swords energy where you had questions. You did not like this friend energy, possibly, or, you know, you, you know, you just knew that this person was lying to you, and I feel like, you know, some form of fight or whatever broke out, and with the Ten of Swords, it was an ugly ending here. I do feel like this person, I, I don't know why, but I'm picking up on the fact that they defended the third party over you, and with the Justice card and the Six of Swords, this person thought that they 
they were leaving you behind to move to something that they were more interested in what they didn't know is that they were moving towards a karmic that they were moving towards a karmic tell me about this uh, ten of swords energy you guys have the ten of swords here twice with the four of swords tell me about the ace of pentacles and the hanged man and the ace of swords so cancer this person truly betrayed you and left you in a state where you were just like in bed you couldn't believe what was happening they know that they hurt you to the point where this may have literally physically hurt your body okay and they did this so that they could have a chance to go see what was happening if the grass was green or someplace else and they're about to see a truth here and let me tell you what that truth is is that this mysterious person that they wanted to go pursue is in fact married or in a very high level of commitment and they made the very foolish <laughs> foolish decision in hurting you to the point where it hurt your soul like this person ripped your heart out okay this person ripped your heart out now your person is wondering with the two of pentacles the eight of cups and the emperor when they find out that this third party is married are you ever going to leave this person but let me tell you something I don't think so because we're dealing with a third party energy that has an emperor in their life. They're sitting in a 10 of pentacles energy with the six of pentacles. This is a third party that is very well off financially with the emperor that they're with. This is an emperor that's very giving, spoils this person, but I feel like this emperor energy may be more about their work than their relationship. This this could be a sugar baby dynamic with this third party energy. Um, you know, I'm not saying that the third party doesn't love their husband or wife or the person that they're with, but I feel like it's more so about the money. And you know, this third party is very well established. They're just bored, so they entertain themselves with third part with you know people like your person let's just say okay um I feel like this third party with the three of wands and the seven of cups just seeks out, you know, random, you know, options to just play with while they're bored. But I'm feeling that this, you know, the person that your person is interested in or hurt you for is very well off where they are. They have no interest in being with your person, you know, in an actual relationship. They're just bored and looking to entertain themselves. And meanwhile, here's your person, you know, hurting an empress energy you know you could be married to this person or you could have children with this person hurting you to go towards this third party all right let's see what we have here spirit tell me about cancer please tell me about cancer we've got tradition here we have forgiveness and we've got toxic so Cancer, the way you view the connection with this person is you're very old-fashioned. You're an old soul. You still believe in the good old-fashioned love. You want true love. Do you understand? Um, I do feel that, you know, for some of you, you may forgive this person, especially if you're married to this person or if you have children with this person. You would be willing to take this person back to save your marriage, to keep your family together. Do you understand? Um, the problem is, Cancer, is that this person is extremely toxic okay they're they're toxic to the point of abuse i will promise you heaven but deliver only hell you're you're you love the high of my promises though so cancer you know i i feel like when this person finds out that they're getting played by this third party they're going to come back around towards you and because you sit more in a traditional energy you know this toxic person is expecting you to forgive them again you may have forgiven them for something like this in the past already for some of you tell me about cancer please tell me about cancer five of pentacles and the hermit cancer this person straight ghosted you they ghosted you and I feel like some of you are sitting in an energy of, you know, I understand that, you know, I'm traditional and I understand that I want to keep my family together, but is this what a, a ride or die is supposed to look like? You understand? Ride or dies 
mean and and take it from me cancer that i have chilled with real gangsters i've i've lived on the streets i've you know what i'm saying a ride or die isn't oh go cheat on me and i'll always have your back no a ride or die is you know someone you end up in prison i got you you are broke i got you you're rich i'm with you you need me i'm there you know what i'm saying it, 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 it a ride or die is not you know what i'm saying i'm gonna go ahead and cheat on you and abuse you and hit you and spit on you and call you names and you still got my back that is not a ride or die do you understand that that's not the the, the meaning of it so cancer i feel like this time around when this person goes to you you're gonna do some thinking here like listen i know i'm a loyal person i know i have this ride or die attitude i know that i want to be with my person in sickness and in health i know i want to be with them for the rich or for poor but this is ridiculous do you understand what i'm saying with the six of cups and the seven of wands cancer this time around when this person goes to you you may make a decision to forgive this person but to not talk to them anymore with the four of pentacles and king of swords energy here cancer you may make the decision to forgive this person like listen you know i loved you once i'll love you still but stay away from me though you know you may make the decision to not give to this anymore and put your boundaries up because with the moon card the seven of cups and the lovers card this is someone that may have a history of doing this to you they may be very in and out and as soon as they get tempted by something else you know everything goes crazy with this person they keep secrets everything's an illusion everything's a lie they keep their options open behind your back um you know and i i feel like you're just over it you see what i'm saying you're starting to realize like listen i'm a good person i want to be with someone through thick and thin but this is getting out of hand you know this is becoming too much i'm not built for this tell me about the five of pentacles for cancer and the magician this person the way they're able to just leave you behind what does a magician do they make things appear and disappear and the way this person, Cancer, with the Two of Swords and the Magician, the way they're able to just cut you off and act like you don't exist, it's not something that you can handle anymore. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, dude, listen, if you can go more than a day without talking to me or fixing things between us, if you can really just disappear and not care, you know, whether I'm going to be here or not when you get back, I don't need it in my life. Tell me about the seven of wands here for cancer. Ten of wands, yeah, you're tired. This person may have done this to you multiple times, Cancer, Six of Cups and the Three of Swords. This is an ex that has betrayed you and hurt you repeatedly, okay? And you may have forgiven this person multiple times in the past, but you're starting to realize, like, listen, I'm a good person. I'm a good person. I have a good heart, a forgiving heart, and I think that this is going too far now. It's becoming a pattern. I think that's what it is, Cancer. It's becoming a pattern, do you understand where this person feels like you're always going to be there that they can just treat you like this and you're always you have a loyal heart so they're always going to be there when you come back you know to, when they come back tell me about this four of pentacles for cancer and the nine of wands you're shutting the door on it cancer you're shutting the door on it tell me about the king of swords here for cancer and the tower you're letting it fall cancer because, you know, every time you forgive this person and you start to rebuild with them, it comes crashing down again. And Cancer with the Eight of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles, you are nothing to play with here. When you are in love and in a relationship, some of you may make very good money, so you invest a lot financially. You put a lot of work into your relationships. You're very responsible. So you are the type of partner that makes sure that the bills are paid. Everyone has health insurance. Everyone has car insurance. You're planning for the future you work really hard both in your career and in your home and family life to make sure that everyone is safe stable and doing well and this person with the five of swords energy on any given random day they will disrupt your whole flow of life just to go get some cooch or some d do you see what i'm saying and you just can't you, you know when this person at this point with the three of wands the eight of wands and the two of pentacles it's like you know you're planning a future with this person but with the two of pentacles you never know what tomorrow is going to bring do you see what i'm saying you know and it's just like too much for you you're just looking for someone solid to build a life with you know and i, I feel like you're starting to put your boundaries up here cancer okay
All right, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take it into the extended. Let's find out about your person and this third party. Is it 100% over between these two? Um, let's find, do a reading on, you know, for those of you, some of you may feel like, no, Gina, yeah, I'm tired, but you know, if they really came back to me changed and I knew that this wouldn't happen again, I'd take them back. We'll do a quick reading on if you reconcile, will this happen again? And then we'll do a reading for those of you who I feel like many of you are done with this and you really just want you know to move on to something new so we'll do a reading for new love for those of you who are really ready to just let this go okay the link for the extended is in the description box below and in the comment section below i love you guys so much and i will see you there take care my darlings